how to create consistent characters in Leonardo AI for free. We will go step by step as we continually test and improve our consistent character image generation, plus tips on avoiding common mistakes, and how to leverage another tool with Leonardo AI to save you a ton of time in your testing and design. There are two general methods in generating consistent character images in Leonardo AI. Without model training, meaning using pre-trained models which are available in the free plan, and training using a custom model which is available in the paid premium plan. In this video, we'll be focusing on the basics of creating consistent characters with pre-trained models for free. Where do we start? First, select a model. There are three basic starting points. From the main page, app.leonardo.ai, you can 1. Go directly and click the image generation, which sets a default model and configuration options. 2. Scroll through the community feed, find inspiration, click a desired image, and click generate from this model. 3. Go to advanced, fine-tuned models, scroll or search for desired model, and click generate with this model. For example, in this case, we select 3D animation. Second, prepare your prompt. To make it easier on yourself as you do trial and error testing and generating images, follow these tips. Apply a prompt structure. A prompt structure is typically composed of a main subject, background, style, or theme. Although this can vary, typically the main subject comes first, then the background or context of your surroundings, and lastly, the theme or style of the image. This can change depending on what you want to emphasize in the image. The first keywords on your prompt get more emphasis in the generated image. In this example, the subject is a priestess character. Let's go through the prompt. The subject is Ordua is a Luzon Babylon warrior priestess, 25 years of age, with black hair, wearing traditional and conservative all red clothing. The background is she's standing outdoors near a baikubo, which typically is a small wooden hut or house beside or near a mountain. The theme or style is during the time period of the 1300s to 1400s. The medium is more of a photograph, it looks like a photograph. The style is more of a documentary. And the composition is dynamic pose and slightly off center. For color and lighting, it's natural ambient lighting. Then enable and add a negative prompt. A negative prompt describes what you do not want in your image. Example keywords for the negative prompt are deformed features, missing limbs, extra limbs, a natural look, gross, disgusting. Anything you don't want in your image, you add in your negative prompt as you go. Now, Test your prompt by generating images. Click Generate Image. The process of getting your desired image will go through trial and error naturally, testing and tweaking your prompts as you go. For example, let's test a prompt in two cases, changing the character's position and changing the background. For the change in the main subject position, tweak the prompt slightly for the main character standing up and sitting down. For changing background, we'll tweak the prompt to show the change in scenery from a wooden hut beside a mountainside to near a riverside. As you can see, it takes testing and tweaking to generate your desired image. The prompt structure and negative prompt can only help you get there faster. To improve the generated images from your prompt, you have the option to add reference images. There are two ways you can do this. One is you can reference a previous set of generated images by using a seed ID or number. Go through your generated images history, and once you find your desired set of images, copy the seed ID. In the advanced settings, enable seed and paste the seed ID. In your next generation, you now have a set Leonardo AI will adhere to in terms of general style and appearance. Let's run through a few tests of character changing position and changing in background. The second option is to upload or select a reference image. 
go to image guidance. Turn on the image to image feature and select your image. As to the multiple types of image guidance options, these are available in the premium plan. And we can discuss this step by step in another video. For now, select the basic image to image feature, which detects the color pattern and overall entire look of the image. Select the image and set the strength of which the image guidance is applied. After multiple tests, setting it at around 0.10 enables you to change things like the character position or poses. For more strict adherence, you can try around 0.15 to 0.20. And don't hesitate to play around with the strength attribute and find out how it affects your image. Let's run the same test again, the character changing position and changing background. Final tip. When creating consistent characters, pay attention to the image resolution and model used. During testing, do not change these attributes as it can distort your image proportion and overall appearance. As much as possible, only change one aspect of the image at a time when testing. As a bonus tip, there's nothing stopping us from using other tools synergized with Leonardo AI and save us a ton of time in generating and editing our consistent character images. For example, we can use Leonardo AI with Canva to change aspects in the image such as the image scenery or accessories while maintaining character consistency. As an example, let's try to set different backgrounds such as the beach, lakeside, or night sky, or even changing the necklace pendant into a ruby. If you find value in content like this, or the step-by-step -step guide helps you out, then like and subscribe for us to make more. So, what have you learned? When creating consistent characters, first select a model that works for you. This can be pre-trained and free or custom built. Follow a prompt structure. Start simple and remember that the order of the keywords matter. Use reference images using a seed ID or the image guidance feature. When incrementally testing, change one aspect of the prompt or your settings at a time. That way you don't get confused. Don't hesitate to use other tools to save time in editing your consistent character images. Now, try what you've learned and come back to specific parts of this video using the timeline and the description to guide you when you try creating consistent characters in Leonardo AI.